With stimulus cash boosts, pandemic uncertainty, and skyrocketing inflation, finances and financial standings are more important to younger generations than ever before. So it makes sense half of the eight personal finance startups honored on this year's FinTech 50 list focus on helping Americans living paycheck to paycheck find their financial footing. These honorees range from virtual credit cards to travel bookings, and all honorees in this category are collectively worth $38.8 billion. Here are the eight personal finance startups that made the 2022 FinTech 50 list in alphabetical order. Bridget is a financial app helping Americans living on the edge build money management skills and credit scores. The New York-based company, worth $600 million, offers a $9.99 monthly subscription that links to the user's bank account. Based on their cash flow, they can qualify for an interest-free loan between $50 and $250. CTO and co-founder Hamel Kotari was a member of the 2021 Forbes 30 Under 30 list. The largest digital bank in America is Chime, another honoree on this year's list. Chime offers free checking accounts and no overdraft fees. CEO Chris Britt says the San Francisco-based company, worth around $25 billion, attracted more new customers in the first quarter of 2022 than any quarter in the company's 10-year history. Esusu is a New York-based company that helps renters build their credit for free by reporting on-time rent payments to credit bureaus. The New York-based company, worth $1 billion, requires landlords to pay because it increases on-time payments, reduces evictions, and makes more renters stay in units long-term. This Santa Monica-based company, worth $26 million, is known as Grow Credit. They offer a virtual MasterCard for those with thin or no credit history looking to boost their credit scores. This card ranges from being free to costing $8 a month and has about 50,000 customers. Hopper is a free app that predicts the cheapest time to book flights or home rentals and now allows customers to pay an extra fee to freeze a flight's price for a week. Even though the $5 billion company is based in Montreal, Canada, nearly half of its employees are US-based. Next is Propel. Its provider's app helps low-income families with government benefits such as food stamps and cash payments manage their benefits alongside their overall finances. The $520 million company, based in New York, has more than 5 million users, and CEO Jimmy Chen left a product manager position at Facebook to start it. In Santa Monica, Tala makes $10 to $500 loans to customers with little or no borrowing history in the Philippines, Mexico, Kenya, and India. The $800 million company uses smartphone data to assess risk. They are planning on using a decentralized finance cryptocurrency platform later this year, which will let professional investors pool money to fund Tala's customers' loans and earn a return. Finally, Upgrade is a six-year-old personal loan fintech that offers a credit card similar to a personal loan. Customers can get a credit line between $500 to $2,500, have a fixed deadline to pay it off, and can make payments in equal monthly installments. The San Francisco company is worth $6.3 billion and quadrupled its annual revenue last year.